Okay, I'll show you what to do. So what we are going to do is a system, a small demonstration of a system called RAB. RAB is a practice that is happening in the west part of Maharashtra and the tribal communities. It consists of collecting biomass in the forest, leaves, twigs, and build a bed with layers of all this material, and then cover it with mud and then fire it and so it is fired without much oxygen and the content becomes ash and charcoal now um, it seems the tribals claim that is the best way to prepare land for uh, rice cultivation and there's a guy in 1880 nominated by the british government to try to find alternatives for this wasteful practice and so the guy set up many different experiments, uh, I don't remember how many, and then the conclusion was nothing is better than RAB, because only with RAB you can have the optimum yields and all the rest is just not well. So um, we have to collect branches, twigs, and leaves, and mud. We cannot use cow dung. Those people use cow dung, but still we don't have cow dung available, so we don't use. The branches that they lop from trees, they are trees that can be polarized, so that every year they can cut from the same tree. They just don't cut any uh, tree just like that. They have specific trees, and these trees polar. And they cut the branches, load them to dry for one and a half months, so they are not fully dry, they are not fully humid, wet also, and that will help in uh, slowing down the process and smoldering and the juices and all these things most probably all this has in use uh, we will use dry branches we have to collect dry branches and we will have to adapt the rap system to the conditions here. the dry leaves on both sides of the central tunnel which will act as a duct to move the fire from one side to the other now when this is done the tribals will put cow dung cakes they mm. collect cow dung make cakes and dry it in the sun but we don't have cow dung so we can't use it and then they put uh, these twigs one and a half month old twigs which are still green and all this we replace by green leaves okay. so we have to cut no green leaves from trees that covers so put it up here no keep it inside just put add add, add more cover this whole thing with green leaves so that you can't see the uh, dry leaves. So this whole pack has to be nicely covered with the layer of green leaves. Just put it. Okay. We put art, but we don't put it on the chimney. Um, US, not on the not chimney. The yeah. 
it's a, it's an okay. okay, and now uh, when this is finished, again we have to put dry material. Okay, there, a little bit there, and now wood. Just put wood. That's going to be enough. Okay. Now, um, Marcel, can you take the water can and start to fill up water in this tub? And we will need, yeah. Roman, put some water in there. We are measuring the paramagnetic value of the soil which we will use to cover the raft system and we will measure it after the burning again. So now it was 500 and something, 16, yeah, 516, then after the burning we will see whether the paramagnetic value has increased or not. Why is the paramagnetic value here of importance? in our experiment is because it has been found that all the fertile soils in the world, the very fertile soils in the world are paramagnetic. And the terra preta soils in the Amazon are paramagnetic. And I found studies that prove it. So, um, there are two ways in which we can improve the paramagnetic value of the earth that we use. One is to add rock powder. Mm -hmm and one is to burn it. So now we will cover this with mud, plaster it with mud, and in the mud we will put some rock powder. Now we are going to make the clay ready. And so here in the water we have soaked neem leaves and periwinkle leaves and tulsi leaves and some lyricidia leaves and we kept it overnight so that the juices from the leaves have more or less penetrated in the water and we make the clay thank you very much it should not be too liquid it should not be too liquid but not too dry also so i think you have to add a little water there Ah, this is okay. Ah, okay. I have this tony plant. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to me. Yes. You should have comment about the placement.
hope it's not all burnt into ash. They should be careful that is. It should be like this. It should be like this. And then they just sew in it like this. Yeah, you just tap the earth, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to crush the earth. But this is good, you see? Yeah. This is good. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this side hasn't been done because